Hello everybody and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're new, if you're just now finding my channel. Um, my name is Jennifer and I talk about things that are hard to talk about and today <clears throat> I want to talk about just some feelings that I've been having um, and that a lot of people I've noticed have been having and I don't know, I just think it's important to um, talk about things and let people know how you're feeling instead of having people guess, even though people in my real life won't see this, maybe other people watching this can see this and know that talking about things, whether it be to a camera or to people watching through my camera or through their phone or camera, whatever, um, it helps things. It helps. I don't know. It just, I think it helps anyway. You know, a lot of times I go through comments of people and I see the same comment in a lot of people's videos is, uh, I've had a bad day today and watching your video has made my day better. So I would like to be that for somebody, um, whether it be myself or you. So Today I want to talk about feelings of personal inadequacy, um, flawed family relationships, and how to go about living through that and dealing with that. Um, for me, my family is very flawed, and I, it goes back to um, the ancestral trauma that I mentioned in my DNA, ancestry DNA video um, about how families carry traumas through generations and they affect each generation uh, more severely, I think. Um, in my family, there's been a lot of pain and I know a lot of that pain comes from what my family went through, what a lot of our families went through. If we live in America, all of our families have gone through this. Um, the pain of having to pick up and leave their home country. For me, on my mother's side, um, we're Polish. We come from, uh, on my mother's, my mother's dad was Polish. And he came, his parents came over from Poland, um, they were, um, you know, leaving that region because of the war, I think, you know, I, I'm still like on the surface of uh, my ancestry DNA journey and like who I am as a person and what traits that I picked up from what family members and, um, but I do know that the, the trauma that from that era around the... <laughs> Um, I think it was actually the first, you know, I'm not even going to go into dates because I don't know specifically, but I do know that coming over from Poland, leaving your home country, leaving a place that you've always lived and always known and that you built your life and then having to leave that, um, it, it puts a, um, a strain on things and I can't imagine what that was like. I mean, I did pick up and leave Alaska and come and I moved down to Virginia where I didn't know anybody. I didn't know a soul when I was 18 years old. But I think that was part of my journey to discover who I was. Be because they're just, um, you know, when I moved down here, uh, I found that I'm related to people here. Um, not people that live here, but like my ancestors were here at one point in time. And... I feel that I was, I, I have a soul of my ancestor because I know all through my life, I have been told that I have an old soul. People are like, you seem older than you are. Um, you know, ever since I was a kid, I've been told that. And, you know, you learn who you are through, um, people telling you, you know, yeah, you discover a lot about yourself, but when you have somebody to relay information about who we are in, in the world, um, 
and as people. It helps us uh, build a story of who we are and our personalities. And that's like the saying is, you know, you are who you hang around. And that's true because we we mirror each other uh, as humans. We look to, because we are a um, species that thrives naturally in groups, um, it's just how we are. We we need other people to know who we are. Um, otherwise, if it was just us, we would probably just be walking around like animals. Not that some of us aren't, but... <laughs> um, but I have been dealing with trauma um, that I don't believe is mine. And it's affecting me in ways that make me isolate and make me doubt myself. Um, but I'm, the more I look into who my family is, the more answers I get about who I am and why I'm dealing with certain situations. Because I think, and this may sound insane to some people, but I truly believe that, um, through, our, through our lives, we get dealt the same trauma our ancestors get, got dealt. And if we don't deal with that trauma and we don't it, deal with these emotions and process them, then who do you think is going to get the problems? It's not just going to go away. It's going to be the next generation. And in my family, personally, we deal with a lot of <clears throat> insecurity and jumping to conclusions and... Instead of talking things out, we just act like they're not there. And that is not healthy. And me, I've always been the person who screams out and yells how I feel. Whether anyone likes it or not, I am loud. I am in your face. I'm going to say the truth. I'm going to say what everyone's thinking but is afraid to say. Um, because it, why? Why hold back? <clears throat> I've never understood that about people. Why not just say how you feel? Because the truth is always going to come out. It's always going to come out how you really feel. Because when we're angry, we say how we feel. We say the truth. And then we cover it up with, oh, I was just mad. I didn't mean that. But that's not true. You feel When you feel something, that's how you feel. And you can deny all you... People can deny all they want that... Um, that, you know, they don't have traits and they're not this way and they're not that way. But you know what? We are all light and dark. We are all black and white. We are all not, I'm talking about inside. We are all, we're all masculine. We're all uh, feminine. We have all, we're, we are duality incarnate. And a lot of people don't understand this. They don't understand that um, we are, we are both at once and that is okay it's okay to be both it's okay to favor one side more than the other it's okay to favor one trait more than the other you know people they they're so afraid of themselves people are so afraid why are you so afraid of yourselves people i don't get it you you want the truth you say i want the truth but then when you get the truth you can't handle the truth and you say you're too intense you're too much why are you like that? Hide your emotions. Calm down. Sit down. Be pretty. Shut up. Never. Never. Never will that be me. You guys can see how much this works me up. I have been told these things my whole life. Sit down. Shut up. You're pretty. And that's all you are. Well, bullshit. I have a great mind. I have thoughts. I have opinions. I have, I have a perspective. As we all do. And we're all entitled to let those be known. But you don't have to go through that. You don't have to go about that being an asshole and, and putting other people down. I see so much of it all the time. Everywhere I go, even in my home, I see it. And it's frustrating. It's like, when are we going to be the change that, that we want to see? When? Or are we just going to sit back and wait for some fictitious hero to come down and save us all? It's never going to happen, people. Wake the fuck up, you know? We have to do it. We made this mess. We have to clean it up. 
And yeah, I know I'm rambling, but you know what? When people ramble, their thoughts come out. They, they get out everything that they need to talk about. And this is what I'm doing right now. I am venting. I am... I'm saying how I feel so so in hopes that it inspires somebody to say how the fuck they feel. You know what I mean? People need to speak up and, and let your voice be heard. Let people know that you're here. And don't let people walk all over you. Stand up for yourselves. Uh, you know, be strong. Be bold. Don't be afraid to let people, to take up space. Don't be afraid to do that. It doesn't matter who says what, who who says um, you're too much, you're too this, you're too that, you're not enough this, you're not enough that. Fuck them. Be you. Be who you are. That's beautiful. And you know what? And it's so true that the right people will come along. But even if they don't, fuck it. You know, be who you are, and let it be known. Let it be heard. But be kind. Be compassionate. Be loving about it. You know, you don't have to be egotistical and stuck up because, you know what, if you're doing those things, you're stuck in a trap. You're stuck in the game of civilization. You're stuck in the game of society. And that's, you're always going to lose. You'll always lose to that because, you know what, there's always going to be another expectation, another um, form of beauty, another ideal of who we should, what we should look like, another trend another this another that it's always recycling itself i mean it's just it's just a pattern that's all it is is a recognizable pattern that's what we are is we're recognizable patterns in an infinite i don't know what <laughs> and it's beautiful it's beautiful so open your hearts open your minds open your worlds open your perspectives to things that you don't know about and that you are because on the other side of fear is wonder, is awe, is amazement, is excitement. You just have to take the leap. Take the leap, people. Don't let these uh, ancestral traumas and these <clears throat> family ties and these uh, patterns throughout history repeat themselves. You know, if they say if this runs in my family, you stand up and say, you know what? Well, this is where it stops. It's not going to run through my family. It's not going to run through me anymore. These hateful ways, these addictions, these um, self-doubts, these all these things, are, they'll, they'll stop with me. And my child, my daughter, my son, my both my sons and my daughter, they will be strong, independent forces to be reckoned with. And I, I can't wait. I can't wait to see that, to see the strong, beautiful, truthful, um, Fearless humans that I create grow up and, and be a part of this world and change it. And it's going to be great. So if you've, if you've lost hope out there and if you feel like um, you don't know where to go and that there's no hope, don't give in to that dark thought because it's just that. It's just the darkness. It's your shadow trying to pull you into its world and trying to envelop you in a comfort. Yeah, it's comforting, but it's also painful. So beware, beware of your shadow, beware of your dark side, of the dark side of other people. But you know how you can fight the shadow is be, be compassionate, be caring, be loving, uh, be truthful. So I hope this message helps somebody. I hope it reaches the person it's meant for because I just, I got a urge come over me to speak this to anyone, to somebody. So I hope it helps. And if you like my channel, um, feel free to subscribe. Um, I make videos pretty much every day. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.